for you. Six letters in English, but we want to look at that one letter in Hebrew, the letter Lamed, that's kind of like the letter L in English. And we want to look at it in particular in the book of Deuteronomy, where we see it added to this personal pronoun, you, to you, for you. And in this book, Moses is going to lead the people of God to the Jordan River, but he will not lead them into the land of promise, the land that was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the land where the Christ would be born for you in Bethlehem. He would be crucified for you at Jerusalem, and he would be raised from the ground for you in the glorious resurrection from the dead. And so that whole promised land is the promise of participation in the resurrection of the body. But in the meantime, the Israelites have to go into the promised land. And so God is going to promise that he will fight for you, that he will raise up a prophet like Moses for you. And he will give a blessing for you, even when the false prophets try to speak curses against you. So in the book of Deuteronomy, in chapter 1, it opens up by telling us that Yahweh will go before you and he will fight for you. This is where we see that Lamed, that letter L in Hebrew, attached to the personal pronoun. It is a promise. It is for their advantage, for their benefit, that they have a God who will fight for them. It is not their fight, it is his. He made a promise and he will deliver on the promise. Later on in chapter three, we see this reiteration where once again, Moses assures the people with God's word that I am Yahweh, the one who brought you out of Egypt and I will fight for you. Just like I did against Pharaoh, against Egypt, when you stood still and saw the salvation of Yahweh. You need not be afraid. You need not fear because Yahweh will fight for you. And then later in the book of Deuteronomy at chapter 18, that's where we have that promise where Moses comes to a conclusion and he says that God will raise up for you a prophet like me, one who will be from your brothers, one who will have the word of God upon his lip and you will listen to him. This is a promise of Jesus, the prophet like Moses, who was raised up from the dead, raised up in Jerusalem for you. This is the prophet for you who is the life, the resurrection, the one who speaks the words of life and resurrection for you. But while the Israelites are waiting in this land of promise with the promise of the coming Messiah, they have this total trouble with false prophets, always speaking a different word, always tempting them to worship in a different way without God's promises. In fact, you had the prophet Balaam being hired as a prophet for profit, P-R-O-F-I-T, prophet, that he is getting money by King Balak to preach curses upon Israel. But God assures them that when he preaches a curse, I will turn it into a blessing for you. So when Balaam goes to speak against God's people, God is for them. And the Holy Spirit comes upon Balaam and he speaks a blessing for you. This is the word of God that comes to us to bless us with what he has done for us and continues to do to us. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.